Hey guys, Matt here, uh, owner of uh, Lucky Matt's Rod Shop here in uh, Little West Burlington, Iowa. Um, giving my first attempt at uh, making a YouTube video. Uh, my plan is to start doing some how to's uh, on bodywork and metalwork. Um, hopefully, start doing this uh, maybe weekly, if not bi weekly. Um, so, First things first, uh, here's my little shop in, uh, in Iowa here. Nothing nothing special, a little 24 by 24 garage. Um, been working on this 52 Chevy for uh, a couple years now. A uh, customer of mine, he said uh, all he wanted was a, was a nice driver. Um, but, of course, I, I'm taking it a step further because I, that's kind of how I am. Um, got really nice gaps here um, and you know I plan on making it a uh, step up from a driver. Maybe win some win some shows with it. Um, so here we go. Alright and getting this ready for uh, body filler uh, we need to uh, block it down and find all our our highs and lows and uh, get a good scratch on it for the body filler to stick to. Um, these are some of the blocks I like to use. Uh, I actually make these blocks. Uh, best blocks that you you can use for body work. Um, they're simply acrylic. Um, and this one is a quarter inch acrylic. It doesn't have a, a lot of flex to it. It's a, a little bit on the rigid side. Um, good for you know, semi-flat areas would work good for that. Um, and then we have uh, the eighth inch acrylic. It's got a little bit more flex in it. Um, good for something a little bit more round. Uh, fits that contour pretty good. Um, and there's all, you know, all different sizes. Uh, 24, 18, 6, or... Uh, Sorry, 24, 16, 8, 5, 11. Um, and you can buy these uh, from me. Um, you can go to eBay, look up Lucky Matt's Rod Shop, or you can send me an email. Uh, either way. Um, so here we go. Okay, so now that we've got uh, the majority of the deck lid uh, blocked out, we can see exactly where all of our low spots are and our high spots. Um, you know, things like this, that'll need to get tapped down. You can feel it's a little bit, a little bit on the high side. Um, another one here. Um, but the majority of these aren't too bad. Uh, they'll definitely need, it'll need a a skim coat over the whole thing. So I should talk about the process of getting to this point uh, where I'm at now in the stages of uh, body work. Um, what I have on here is uh, Clausen's Rust Defender. Um, it's a good product uh, as long as you use it correctly. Uh, you don't want to hammer it on. Um, you want to let let each coat flash off correctly and uh, don't don't hammer it on too thick uh, you'll have you'll have some problems down the road and cracking and whatnot um, so what I did uh, was I got all my metal work done um, and it needed a lot of metal work um, you know I had had to do patches uh, in through here uh, basically the whole six the bottom six inches of this car has been replaced. Um, so I got all the metal work done um, and went over uh, some of the problem areas uh, with body work. Uh, got the, those areas body worked 
and uh, got it ready for this uh, rust defender. And uh, I put about three coats on every panel um, of this car. It's uh, it's not my ordinary process, but having doing this in my garage from time to time, um, it was it was the route to go. Uh, so I don't have anything sitting in bare metal for too long. Um, so, so that's how we got here. Alright, so now what I need to do is uh, get all these low spots uh, here scuffed really good. Um, I'm using a 120 grit sandpaper on this. Um, I prefer it over 180 or 80. Uh, I think 80 is a little too aggressive and 180 is not quite aggressive enough. Um, body filler sticks really well to the 120. Um, so I'll, I'll get all these scratched up really well and then uh, we'll be ready to apply body filler. Um, what I'm using here is uh, USC WG55. Um, it's a really good filler. Um, there's a lot of really really quality fillers out there today. Uh, 3M makes a good filler. Evercoat, the, the Rage Ultra Gold Extreme, all that is, uh, those are all good fillers. Um, you know, just don't be buying Walmart brand, uh, and you'll, you should be okay. So, um, all right. Okay, now we are ready for the body filler stage. Um, as you can see, I got all those, uh, low spots scuffed up and, uh, some of the high spots knocked down. All right, it's time to mix up some body filler. As you can see, I've got a scale sitting here. Uh, a really good life hack I've picked up uh, from working at the current shop I'm working in, uh, V8 Speed and Resto Shop. Uh, I've learned it's a really good idea to, to use a scale when mixing uh, body filler. Um, mix ratio is 2% uh, hardener. Um, so you just add, uh, say, 100 grams of body filler and 2% hardener. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get that mixed up. thing you need to be aware of is uh, your hardener. Um, they have these uh, little numbers up top here. Uh, first digit is the year um, and the second two you can see those are uh, the month. So this one's from February of 17. I believe that says 0217. Um, you don't want a hardener that's more than a year old um, so you got to be aware of that you don't you don't want it to become separated uh, and have that liquid come out uh, generally if that happens it's probably over a year old um, so you got to be aware of that um, so we've got it all spread out here um, as you could see I took several passes uh, trying to get all the all the pin holes pressed out um, and uh, try to get it as smooth as you can. Uh, smoother it is, less sanding you have to do. Uh, so next step, sand it all down. Alright, now that the body filler is set up, uh, time to do some sanding. Um, you'd like to start with 80 grit. Um, I should also mention I like to use uh, this Sea of Speed 1950, um, it's a really good sandpaper, uh, it holds up really well, um, so that's what I like to use. Um, and I like to let it set up pretty good, it's still, still got like a little bit of a tack to it, uh, but it's not wet. Um, so here we go.
Okay, so we got the majority of it sanded out here. Uh, this is all an 80 grit. I'll, uh, I'll go back over and uh, guide coat it in uh, 120 grit and then 180 grit. Um, but I, I've got some, a few problem areas in the bottom here that I still need to fill. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the gist of it. Alright, uh, another thing I want everybody to take away from this is uh, using your hands. Uh, I think you'll notice... Um, a lot when I'm doing body work, I, I use my hands a lot. Um, you need to use your hands as well as your eyes uh, to feel the body work. Um, you know, you can't always see everything uh, with your eyes. Sometimes your hands will pick up things that you can't see. Um, so this, this shape here isn't quite right. It's a little bit lumpy. You can't see that, but I can feel it. Um, and that'll show up in, you know, in paint. So you want to make sure you, you get used to using your hands, and the more you do it, uh, the better, better you'll get at picking up those, those little things. So my advice is just keep doing it. Alright, well that's it for today. Uh, everyone that was watching, I appreciate it. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, just tell me why. Uh, feedback is much appreciated. Uh, so we'll see you next time. And don't forget, uh, I have blocks for sale, um, like I said, on eBay, or email me. You can email me at matte12803 at gmail.com. matte12803 at gmail.com. Thanks.